What is up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today we are outside just for the time being. I'm gonna be testing out RX11 by Isotopes and Native Instruments, testing some of the new features. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is Isotopes RX11. Now let's take a listen to the original audio being captured. What is up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today we are outside just for the time being. I'm gonna be testing out RX11 by Isotopes and Native Instruments, testing some of the new features. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is Isotopes RX11. For the video that was shot outside as well as inside right now, I'm using a Rode Smart Lab Plus and it's plugged into my Zoom H1N recorder. Now let's take a closer look at Dialog Isolate. All right, so here I am inside of Isotopes RX11 and this is the advanced. And before I show you the Dialog Isolate, I do want to switch over to Safari here and show you the different uh, packages it does come in here. So you have RX11 elements which includes six plugins. Then you have the RX11 standard, it includes the RX11 standalone audio editor and 18 plugins. And then you have the RX11 advanced, which includes the RX11 standalone audio editor and 20 plugins. So you just scroll down and you can kind of see, you know, what it comes with here. And you have the de-click uh, for the elements, the de-clip, you have uh, de-hum here, de-reverb, and then where, you know, the standard, you get a lot more. And then, of course, for the advanced, you're pretty much getting it all. And then down here are the prices. Don't wait too long because these are subject to change. So uh, when this video comes out, these, this is what the prices are here. And then again, it's probably going to change. And then, of course, you'll have sales maybe around the holiday seasons and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go back to Isotopes RX-11. So in the beginning of the video, what you heard was me using RX-11 Advanced. And what I used was the Dialog Isolate. And let me show you what that looks like here. So if you go over here to the right and just click it, it pops right up. And you'll see that you have a voice module, the reverb, and then you have noise. And I just pretty much took out the reverb and then the noise. And I think it sounds pretty good uh, with the sensitivity right here in the middle. It does go from, you know, from lowest to zero all the way to 10. But I think, you know, um, right here in the middle of five does a good job. You can select the quality if you want it best uh, offline or do you want it good real time. And then, of course, you just preview it where you can render it. So let me go ahead and remind you of what the original audio sounds like before I even processed it. So this is uh, the initial state here. What is up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today we are outside just for the time being. And then once I added the dialog isolate, you'll hear how it changed here. What is up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today we are outside just for the time being. So this is cool because if you are maybe on a location and you get bad audio and you don't have enough time to go in the studio and correct it, what you can do, you can use tools like this here and then clean up the audio and then add your own sound effects. So as you saw the opening of the video, it sounded like maybe I was like at an ocean somewhere, just kind of walking but yet I'm right outside uh, my front yard. So um, that's the cool things with using tools like these. And, and not only do you have something like the uh, dialog isolate, but you can do something for music production, such as, you know, uh, D reverb. So maybe if you're recording in a room, you can, you know, cut the reverb. And I'm actually using RX11 right now to process all of the audio in this video because I am inside of my room. I have the fan running in the background. So I just wanted to give you guys a feel for what the quality sounds like if you are indeed, uh, you know, recording in a noisy environment 
and if that is the best recording that you can achieve. I want to thank you for tuning in. If you found this video to be valuable, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications, and we will see you on the next video.